Hello everyone, let's try to be a cheat code ninja today. This problem has been asked recently in the Amazon and Facebook interviews. Let's look at it. We are given a list of strings and an integer k and we have to return the k most frequent strings. We have to sort the words by frequency in descending order. And in case two words have the same frequency then we'll have to return them in lexicographical order. Let's look at the given example. Here we see that I occurs two times, love occurs two times, lead code occurs only one time and coding occurs only one time. And since K is two, we have to return the top two most frequent words. I and love both have the frequency two, but since I occurs before in the lexicographical order, we'll return it first. Now let's try to come up with an intuitive solution for this. Now let's look at the same example. Before doing anything, the first thing we'll need is the frequency of each word. Hence we'll have to go through the array once and create a hash map where the key is the word and the frequency is its value. The hash map would look something like this. We have to return the words based on the descending order of the frequencies. And in case of a tie, we have to return the words based on their lexicographical order. Here the top two frequencies are two. The words corresponding to them are love and I. And since there is a tie, we have to return them in the lexicographical order. Hence the output would be I love. Now let's assume that K is equal to three. Now the next biggest frequency is one and the words corresponding to them are lead code and coding. Since coding occurs before in the lexicographical order, we'll return it. We now know that we have to order the frequency in descending order somehow. And for the words sharing the same frequency, we have to order the words in ascending order. One possible way to arrange the frequency is to sort them. But this would take n log n time complexity. Let's see if we can do something better than that. Whenever we have to find the greatest or the least or the top k elements or the bottom k elements, we should always think about heap. This is a very efficient data structure to find elements based on the maximum or the minimum. Since we have to find the top k frequencies, we'll need a max heap to store our frequencies. And in case of a tie, we'll need to retrieve our words from a mean heap. Hence, we'll need some kind of property like this from our data structure. Here, the first priority would be to retrieve by the frequency. And then in case of a tie, we'll retrieve by the word. In Python, there's a workaround to achieve this. We could use the default mean heap and instead of directly storing the frequency, we'll be storing the negative of the frequency. This negative sign would make it behave like a max heap. And a word would behave like a min heap, that is what we desire. The time complexity would be, we have to create a heap of size n and we have to retrieve k elements from it. Hence it would be O of k log n. And the space complexity would be, we have to create a heap and a frequency map of size n, hence it would be O of n. Now let's implement our solution. Let's first create our word to frequency map. Here I am using an inbuilt python library to do that. Most interviewers allow us to do that. Now let's create our max heap. Here we would loop over the frequency map. And then we would add a tuple in which the first part would be the negative of the frequency and the second part would be the word. This negative sign would make it behave like a max heap. And in case of a tie, our word would be in ascending order. Now let's call the heapify function. Now our heap is ready and we can retrieve the top k elements using heap pop. 
we'll call the heap for function k times and store the result in a list. We can directly return this list. Our heap would look something like this. The first part would be the negative of frequency and the second part would be the word. And since the word would be at the first index of each element, hence we are using the first index over here. We are doing heap pop from our heap k times. Now let's submit our solution. As you can see our solution is accepted. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.